Hey everyone, it's Ryan from Resale CMY. I'm here by myself today. Paul's got a round of chemo that he's got to take care of, so hopefully he'll feel better in a few days and he'll be back working with me here at my house. Uh, for those of you who don't know, a buddy of mine, Paul, and I uh, run a reselling business on eBay where we pick up stuff locally, garage sales, yard sales. We travel around New York State, pick up large collections from people, part them out on eBay, and uh, make a profit. Last year we did 191,000 in gross sales. Hope to continue and build on that this year. We got a shop going in. Uh, plan on expanding our our content, YouTube content, quite a bit this year, especially once the shop goes up. But uh, this is going to be our sales from yesterday. It was a uh, Wednesday, Wednesday the 23rd of March. We ended up selling 14 items for $634.42. So another solid day. We're happy with anything over like $350, $450, something like that. Uh, anything more than that is a really good day for us. Um, as of now, anyway. Hope to keep building. All right, so what I think of this title for this video is going to be is we sold... $180 candy wrappers <laughs> and we did uh, 26 candy wrappers to be exact from 1977 these are Pangburn troglodytes action pack chocolate chocolate uh, milk chocolate three I don't know exactly I want to say maybe these are cocoa packs or something like that but I'm not exactly sure this is what they look like. Let me tap the screen real quick. This is what they look like. You can see there's a bunch of different ones. They are numbered on the back. And what you do with these, when you squeeze them, it changes the... Oh, hold on, that one didn't work, of course. So when you squeeze them, the scenery in the background changes. So you got an egg, and then the egg hatched, and you got chicks sticking out. Uh, this one here is haunted house one. You squeeze it, so they're they're called action packs, and I mean I don't think I need to go over every single one, but there's a whole bunch of them, twenty six of them to be exact. Um, <laughs> I couldn't believe that these had some value and really good value. There was like some, I think like ten of them sold for a hundred and. 100 bucks or 120 dollars we had 26 there is some duplicates in here i mean this is you can see a bunch of them i mean if you want to go into our listing to see them all you can you can find that listing if you look at this screenshot right here a lot of 26 pangburn triglodytes chocolate candy wrappers hundred and eighty dollars and five cents at auction just crazy to me super happy with that sale that actually started out our day yesterday because we didn't have sales for probably the first three or four hours of work work day and then all of a sudden the auction started ending so that was a great way to start it 180 dollars on these so i'd say keep your eye out for them but i don't know it just happened to be something it's not like we picked these up knowing they are worth that much but we sold $180 candy wrappers. Okay, Paul's slot car buy. Spent $1,100 on slot car stuff. You can go see uh, the video, I think it's like three or four videos ago where we break down the stuff that we have. Um, after Paul uh, listed everything, after he went through all the big sets, uh, he ended up with some extra pieces. We had three extra pieces of this straight track. And these three pieces alone sold for $25 plus shipping on these three pieces. The numbers on them are 127591. And on the back of the Carrera slot, uh, the track, there's uh, always a six-digit number. Well, I think it might not always be six digits, but there's always a number on the back and the name, standard straight track right there. Easy to look up. If you ever buy the big Carrera sets, really easy to part out. Uh, might just need to clean it a little bit. But yeah, so that was like a bonus little sale. We had three extra pieces of track, another $25.
Okay, next we have a Snoopy piece here. This is from 1972, this one. Check that out. Is this a, like a ceramic figurine? United Feature Syndicates Incorporated, 1972, San Francisco. Has a Made in Japan sticker there. Uh, on the front it says, Perhaps some dark-haired lass will share my table. Um, this sold for $14 plus shipping. And I just listed this yesterday. Um, there was two of them listed. None had sold. I think one was like $20 plus shipping or 18 or something. And one was like $26 with free shipping. So I just priced it down. $14 plus shipping and it sold. It's the only one on eBay right now you can find in the last 60 days that it sold. So I'd rather uh, get my $14 right away and move on to the next item. Okay, Paul's talked about these multiple times. We actually sold two little sets of foo dogs, like uh, green and yellow ones. We had sold... Uh, food dog bookends for 50 and then we in our recent tote we found these food dogs they're like uh chinese style kind of they kind of look like the uh from the ghostbusters there that gargoyle these food dogs so this set they kind of have like a bluish kind of tint to them 50 dollars plus shipping and again i think this was something that paul listed yesterday or the day before so just fifty dollars on these. They don't even have. They don't even have uh, markings on the bottom or anything. Just ceramic food dogs. It's probably a marking hit, marking hidden hidden somewhere on these. But yeah, fifty dollars. Actually, like a greenish hue. Okay, we got these are black wall. This is from the Red Line era. This car right here. It's got some scratches and stuff. Uh, I think Paul listed this as an auction. Um, 1974 Mustang stocker car. I think he put it at auction starting at $9.99. I think it received one bid. So we sold this for $10 plus shipping on this little car. Like I said, this is Red Line era, but they're black wall tires. They don't have the red line on them. Okay, salt and pepper shaker going out yesterday. Uh, I think that was Elmer Fudd. And Bugs Bunny. Now we got Yosemite Sam and Bugs Bunny. Kind of cowboy style. This one sold for $7 plus shipping. It is brand new. And I think we have three, maybe even four more of these down there. Okay, next we have another piece of the track from uh, the slot car buy right here. This is number 30341. It is a track section for a digital pit stop extension. This one little piece sold for $14 plus shipping on that one. Okay, and then we got Fiesta Wear, right? Is that what this is? Yeah, Fiesta Wear candle holder, white glaze. We've sold like five different colors of these. Usually we have the box with them. This one we did not. This Fiesta Wear piece, candle holder, $13.79 plus shipping on this. I think it was an uh, eight or I think it was eight percent off sale for that. Cebus, C Y B I S. We've sold a lot of little Cebus figurines. This one, as you can see, is a couple of penguins there. This Cebus fine porcelain. Uh, nothing else really to say about it. It's about six inches tall. Thirteen dollars plus shipping on these. Some Seabus figures can go for hundreds. So keep your eye out for these. Um, it's actually kind of easy to tell. I, I feel like I'll be able to spot these now, just like the Yadro figurines. Uh, those are even easier, but I think I'll be able to do well on that. All right, this is kind of a disappointing lot here. This was at auction. These are just used reel to reels. Nothing, nothing big. Just used reels to reels. They're, uh, there's three of them that are 203, a 141, a couple 190s, uh, 1,800 feet. Most of them, I think one of them is 1,400 feet. You can lot these up. Uh, you can see Lonnie does it at Shed Flips a lot with like used reel to reels. The part that's kind of disappointing to the, uh, about this is that it has what it says is pretty good stuff on the back. Like this one has Jethro Tull, the Moody Blues, Janis Joplin, the Doors. 
This one has the doors a few times, 10 years apart. This one has uh, The War of the Worlds, the movie. This one, B.B. King, Almore James, Luther Allison. This one was really cool. Black Sabbath, songs Paranoid, War Pigs, uh, Planet Caravan, Iron Man, Electric Funeral, Hand of Doom. I mean, just over and over, all sorts of songs. Even Then it goes to Alice Cooper, bunch of songs. Then more Jethro Tall than the Steve Miller Band. It's all written on it. Fortunately, you got to just sell these as used reel to reels. You can't claim that, hey, this is Black Sabbath reel to reel. Or else, I mean, if you find Black Sabbath reel to reels, buy them and you will make a lot of money. Um, like when they're the actual copyrighted reel to reels. Um, this one, Leon Russell, Asylum, Choir, Traffic, a couple other people. But this lot right here, just used, used media, uh, $10 plus shipping. Hey, I got Paul calling me. Give me one second here. He must be on his way to chemo. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, we had a little dog emergency. Paul was headed to the VA and he has cameras on his house. And he could see his dog Luna running around. So one of the doors had popped open and she was out running around with her head cut off enjoying life. So I had to go over there and, and squash that down real quick. I'll go right on to the next sale. At least I believe this is the next sale. I think I finished up those reels there. Uh, this next thing here is this new vintage Tops 1983 uh, Perlorian Cats a Zillion Stickers. Zillions of stickers, but there's 50 per roll. So I don't know what the deal is with this. But we've sold it before, actually. Just a vintage pack of cat stickers. So for $10, uh, plus shipping on this. Uh, and I know we sold it at least one other time before. Okay, well, we sold a lot of Topps cards. Here we go. Topps Marvel cards, 1975. Uh, the hook on this one is it is an empty box. So we've sold empty candy wrappers. And here is an empty box. But the top is mostly unpunched. Uh, this side is opened up. And it, you punch it all out and it flips up and it says the price, 10 cents a pack. But yeah, new box. Not new box, sorry. Empty box, uh, put it at auction, it got bid up to $20.50 plus shipping. Someone was looking for it, and I'd seen it it'd sold before too. So uh, yeah, I decided to list that. I know we've sold the cards out of it. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't a brand new sealed case of them, or else it'd be quite a bit more. I want to say like $1,300 or $1,600 or something like that. I think they even have them listed more with a bunch of watchers, but I don't know what they've actually sold for. Okay, this these have been listed for a long while. Uh, cleared off some space on the bookshelf. These are Songs and Story. Disney, it's a lot of seven CDs. Which, there's more than seven here. Oh, I know why we put seven. Because there's, there's nine, but there's duplicates. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so there's nine of these song and stories. There's Cars, Brave, Mulan, A Monsters Inc., Finding Nemo, uh, Peter Pan, and Wreck It Ralph. They're all brand new sealed. So for $17 plus shipping on these, these will ship out media mail. So I'm just happy those was sold because they were taking forever. And then the last sale is actually going to be an international sale here. This is one of the Walt Disney Classics collections. This originally was $165. Uh, kind of see it there. I'm not going to open it up or anything. It is Peter Pan, Nobody Calls Pan a Coward. This is going global shipping, like I stated before. I think it's going to Spain. Because <clears throat> we had a message, and I, I think I remember correctly, it's going to Spain. $64 plus shipping on this. So if you see that packaging right there, Walt Disney Classics Collections. Some of those can be really good. I think me and Paul probably sold at least 100 of them. 
uh, since the beginning of last year. That's how many we've picked up. And I think we still have dozens more. We just had to go through the totes and find them. At least 100. Yeah, so that's the entirety of the sales. No sales came through while uh, I was doing this video. Uh, 14 sales for $634.42. If we did that seven days a week, you know, that's that's over four grand right there. So uh, we'll take 600 plus every single day. That does include the shipping, but uh, I mean, those are still really, really good numbers. Uh, especially the way the economy is right now. So for us to churn that out, that's pretty that's pretty good in, in my opinion. Um, I do have a couple auctions ending today. One uh, of, of uh, little little cars. They're not red lines either, but one just got bid up to ninety dollars. So I'll do a video about that tomorrow. Uh, so if you're watching this one, stay tuned for the next day or two. I'll have uh, that one released. But uh, thank you very much for watching till now. Sorry, Paul. Paul isn't here. I know he's everyone's favorite. But uh, hopefully he feels better and by the end of the weekend or so, so we can get back to work and get back to enjoying himself. Um, please comment, like, and subscribe. We picked up like 11 or 12 subscribers in the last day or two. I wish we could keep that pace every single day. So if you like this kind of stuff, eBay... Uh, cool items, vintage items, you know, subscribe with us. We have a lot more to come and we plan on advancing our YouTube content as well. So stick with us for all that. Thank you guys very much. I'm going to have Paul's daughter end the video for us. Bye. Say resell CNY. Resell CNY. Said please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. And bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Right. Thank you. Bye.